Today we're at Lotus and we're going to be walking you guys around the new 2025 Lotus EMEA. This is one of their future electric vehicles coming out next year. This is the EMEA R. It has 905 horsepower, about a 260 to 300 mile range depending on trim, wheel size, etc. Uh, pretty impressive electric vehicle and uh, the first time I've seen any of Lotus's electric offerings. This is a pre-production car, so it doesn't do everything today, but uh, I'm out here with Substitute Topher, and we're gonna give you guys a proper walk around on this thing. So first things first, this is gonna be priced at around $150,000 or higher. Um, it's, it may is gonna start around 100 grand for some lower trims, but this has carbon ceramic brakes, Michelin Pilot Sport EV tires. These are, what size tires are these? 265 35R22s with carbon fiber inserts, aero inserts. And in the back, I believe these are even wider. These are 305 30 22s. So pretty beefy tire. Actually, a new tire that I haven't seen on an EV before. Looks like that too. Yeah, it looks like it's they super quiet, like super efficient. <laughs> they do a little bit. Yeah, they've got pretty aggressive tread. Kind of neat carbon ceramic brakes front and rear. So unlike the Model S Plaid, this will actually be able to stop. <laughs> but there's, we're starting the video on the outside of the car because there's kind of a cool entry and startup sequence to this EMEA. Uh, Chris, if you want to hop in the passenger seat, we can just hop in. So the, here's the key. It's a card. And then you just unlock the door with pressing the key right here. Open up. Oh, yeah, and this has uh, automatic doors like a Rolls Royce or a BMW i7. To close the door, all you do is just press the brake pedal. And on the passenger side, just pull it a little bit. Yeah, you don't have a brake pedal, that's right. I don't have a brake pedal. Yeah. I'm not you, a driving instructor. You would if this were a UK car, and this is kind of a UK car spec because it has the camera side mirrors. For the United States, that will be a physical mirror. Yes. And I don't know what they'll put here, probably carbon fiber or something. But on first impressions in this EMEA, the most impressive thing is just the interior quality. I'm used to Lotuses just kind of having you know, tacked on soft bits to a bunch of metal in their interiors. And this has Alcantara and carbon fiber and just amazing materials. We have a KEF stereo or sound system, 3D mm -hmm. surround sound system. And uh, we might be able to do an audio test on that a little bit later today. We're also driving the Electra, which is their electric SUV. And uh, that has, that's kind of the SUV version of this EMEA. So we'll do a sound system test once we take that out onto the road. But just walking around this, we've got some pretty cool stuff in here. So you'll notice there are paddle shifters behind the wheel. You can adjust your level of regen from off all the way up to three settings. I like that animation, how it rolls. Yeah, no, that's neat. Screen. And then on the right, we can change our drive modes. And drive modes change a whole lot of things. So the suspension is going to raise up and down. We have adaptive dampers with uh, changing air suspension, adjustable air suspension. So in tour mode, you can change your ride height. It'll slam down pretty quickly. And then it'll go up a little bit higher for extra ground clearance. In sport mode, seats will give you a nice hug. You feel that on your side My too? My side doesn't do it. Your no. side doesn't hug you? Okay, so maybe that's just for the driver. I can probably adjust it here. Oh yeah, I have an adjuster for it for my... Uh... Track mode, things get very fast, very stiff. And it oh. looks like we have some eye tracking it here too. It's massaging me. Oh wow, wonderful. Ooh, it's a good massage. Ooh, it's like, you know how like some massaging seats are like just air going psh, psh. This has the actual balls like the, like from Brookstone. You're oh yeah, massage good. Chair. Yeah, cool. Feels nice. High quality massage seats. Yes. We have an electrochromic roof, but on this pre-production car that isn't functional. Uh, wireless charging. Oh, and to start up the vehicle, you can put the key right here. You can leave it there. There's kind of a little slot for it, but you can also just keep it in your pocket, and that's totally fine. Here's your gear selector, park, neutral, reverse drive, all that stuff. Reverse camera, 360 camera. And then there's this walk-around screen where you can change different functions of the car. So you can open up the trunk. You can raise the rear spoiler which is cool. There's multiple different settings. And this screen is all 
pretty responsive and quick. This is kind of how I want a modern infotainment screen to feel. This is about right. Even for a, a pre-production car, I mean, Absolutely. I assume maybe it'll run even better in a production vehicle. I assume it would, yeah. You have some applications here. You can run CarPlay and Android Auto in this. Spotify, some native Lotus applications. You see your range. This is a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack. Zero to 60 in about 2.8 seconds, 2.78 mm -hmm. seconds. Um, this is the best part because, oh my gosh. okay, they're cup holders, but you can make them not cup holders and it's easier to clean them this way. So if you spill something or, you know, That's just right. over time from drinks being in here, pop them up, wipe them off, pop them back down. Let's race. It makes sense. Right? Ready, set, go. Oh, I think I jumped a little bit. Ready, set, go. They're, yeah. they're in sync. Yeah. Wireless charging right here. Oh, and we can go in and we can change a bunch of settings in this MAS. So we have oh, ambient yes. lighting. Go full red. Give us the, the proper, there you go. Yeah. The purple. <laughs> <laughs> Ultramarine. Yeah, I kind of like this, this light orange here. And we've got drive modes, which we went over a little bit earlier. Unlock settings. I mean, there's just a bunch of different settings that you can customize. I um, really do want to try out the audio system, but we're going to leave that for the Electra. <laughs> this is the best massage I've ever gotten. In a oh my gosh, that's, that's so awesome. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's roll down those rear windows so we can see in the back seats. And let's hop back there oh, let's try those and see what that's all about. Oh, to get open the door, massaged. there's just a button right here. If you press it, that should open on oh, your yeah. side. Yeah. Cool, I'm just going to do mine manually. There's not too much resistance if you want to do it on your own. Carbon fiber everywhere. I mean, honestly, the most impressive thing about this car is just the interior fit and finish. It's really, really well done. And for Lotus, not having really done a whole lot of this in the past, it's top notch. A little bit of a storage space down here. That's cool. Just give that a little tap and it will close. These doors, when they work, are actually a little bit more intuitive than the BMWs and Rolls Royces that we've yeah. tested. So, just give it a little push and it'll close. Yeah. Which is nice. And, and then a little close. little and pull then, and it'll open. Back up from it. Yep. That's how it should be. Yeah. That's great. Easy. I like how it doesn't have to think for a second. It just does it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very seamless. I just keep forgetting that they're automatic and yeah. pulling the door. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler looks good. Here's your charge port. So this is these are different plugs for different regions, but kind of cool to see how the charge door operates. Oh, it's sensing me. I stepped back. It opened. Clever. This is. I guess I just give it a little yep. tug. Nice. This is fixed in place. It looks like it doesn't come. Oh, wait. There is a button right here that you can hit to raise the screen up, or an icon on the screen. I like the little message. So you can change temperature, climate settings. You've got heated and ventilated seats front and rear. Oh, yeah, you can adjust your air direction like you can in a Tesla. It's not my favorite thing in new cars. I would rather just touch the vent myself. Yeah. Got more of the fancy cup holders back here. Yeah. Yeah, Tesla started that trend, and I think it should end there, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love all the carbon fiber in here. This is kind of, honestly, the interior's mirrored a little bit in the back oh, in a way it is in the front. Is this a fridge? Mm, no, it's not. Put a couple sandwiches in there. That's true. What do you put in there? It's like perfect size for a champagne bottle. Yeah, it's about the size of a champagne bottle. <laughs> okay. Neat. Console, two USB-C yeah, ports. It's pretty deep. Yep. Good. And then we can close this. Oh, and it gives us a little message to not put your finger underneath, otherwise. Take care with fingers and hands. Yeah. <laughs> It'll either break your finger or break the screen. Or both. Or both. <laughs> um, do we have massaging back here is the question. Ah, that's a good We've question. Got heating. Oh, let's see if you can heat and cool at the same time. You can. Oh. Uh. All right. That's awesome. I gotta have one of these. All right. That's it. Total baller status in the Lotus <laughs> Amea. Let's see. It's going to settings. Ah, oh, you do have massage. You have, you have massage. I need to try out the My massage. My cool seat is still on, but it's fine. Was yours like a wave pulse? I don't know, but the, 
I like the falls because oh, it kind of goes a, up and down the spine. There's also a button, a physical button on the seat you can press to do your massage. Oh, okay, all right. So mine's been, going. Started for 18 minutes. Oh, this is good. It's like the, one of the best I've ever felt in I'm a car. not usually a fan of massaging seats in cars. I think they're kind of silly, but this is nice. Yeah, but this is like you could sit in here yeah. and like actually Ooh. enjoy. Sorry the viewer can't enjoy this. <laughs> we don't have massage vision yet. That's right. Okay, so you can stop quickly. Also, props to Lotus. These are very responsive screens. They are. They're beautifully, like, the graphics and the interfaces and the UI is really well done. They kind of remind me of the Jaguar Land Rover infotainment. The but way it's faster. Out, but faster. But yeah. visually, it's, it's very similar. You're um, right. I agree with you that it reacts a lot better. Similar JLR vibes. Yes, here. definitely. Well, it, it is British. So. It is British, yeah. yeah. Um, beautiful carbon fiber on the back here. Cool. Oh, work. Oh, that's oh, a good question. You just pet it. Oh yeah, you just pet it. You just tap it. Kind of swipe. Um, that's cool. There is also a physical lever here to open the door if anything goes wrong. Oh, you can shut that off completely. Oh yeah. Nice. Headroom? I'm okay. I'm five foot ten. Yes, I will say though. Behind myself. Room under the seat for your. Feet. There's not a lot of space under the seat, so you can't really stretch out. No, it does kind of like there's a little place to just like snuggle your toes in true. underneath. Yeah, yeah. But uh, sat behind myself at five eleven. Sat behind you at five ten. Slightly less room than than me. That's right. Yeah, by an inch. <laughs> About an inch. <laughs> just tap to close. That's a fancy looking trunk. Like, that's cool. Executive. Ex very executive. This is surprisingly heavy for a car company that is focused on weight savings. This, this piece alone weighs like 30 pounds. Oh my god, no, this is like 50 pounds. <laughs> that's a big piece. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's cool. Maybe there's a little bit of sound deadening in there too. Probably. I mean, so, this is like the weight of that doesn't really matter when you have 900 horsepower. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I think overall this is going to weigh about 5,500 pounds or so. Little cargo net that connects up here. More suede, interior lighting, little 12 volt outlet right here. That's clever. Oh, it's probably just an access panel. More speakers. Yes. Oh yeah. See. You can see the tire. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, real aero vents. Oh, and then speaking of aero, this has some active aero of its own. Rear spoiler, that's the most obvious, but there's a diffuser piece that will lift up at speed and allow a little bit more uh, downforce and, and just kind of efficiency in the back. And then up front, we have some more active aero pieces in these grill shutters. Right there, and actually, we kind of forgot to do the show the startup sequence. So, if you want to turn this off, okay? Yeah, and then we'll we'll unlock it, and it does a little dance, a little turn signal dance, and then these grill shutters open and close. Kind of clever. Very cool. Really interesting design here. Such a departure. Yeah. I know, it's like, they've gone from making that over there to the left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to these. And uh, the Amira is Lotus's last in internal combustion engine car. Yeah. Going full EV by 2028, allegedly. Yep, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, what do you guys think? I think this is a pretty cool direction. I'm excited to drive it. Uh, we're gonna go test out the Electra and see what that's like. We'll show you around that real quick here just as a preview. But a lot of similarities just with US spec mirrors and in SUV form. You were saying earlier, you see a lot of different designs in, in the this Emea. Here. Emea yeah. yeah, you see a little bit of Kia Stinger in the back. Yep. I think a little bit of Taycan. A little bit of eye pace. There's like I, I see some Toyota Crown too. Yeah. 
Now this is a big sedan. It's it's long. It's a good looking car. Yeah. I appreciate that. Even going into this electric electric era, we still have cars. Not everything is SUVs. I appreciate that they're doing the sedan as well to compete with Model S, Lucid Air, i7, yeah. Taycan. Fit and finish panel gaps and everything look really good on this pre-production yes. car. I mean, these are all, so let's see. You can open these up. Uh, go into settings, safety. So these are all the LiDAR sensors. This is not a rally driving roof, roof scoop, it's a LiDAR sensor. And these have self-cleaning <laughs> operations too. But they pop out here. So this is all the hardware basically for uh, self-driving tech, which is pretty cool. Neat. Anything else to add, Chris? I'm excited to drive it. Same. Um, yeah. Next year, probably. Yep. But we'll I get a pretty good taste, I think, driving the SUV. I think we will. Yeah, I'm sure this will be sharper and crazier and faster and really, really pretty amazing performer. But the SUV is what we have today, and we're going to go drive that. So we'll see you guys in that video. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to Lotus for inviting us out here to their HQ. Top in, secret. Top, top secret it's like HQ. A top secret vibe. In here. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly close to home. Yeah. Almost could have walked here. <laughs> it's very strange to see. Cool. All right, well, that's going to be it for this one. Let's see if the spoiler stays up if we turn off the car. It goes down. Neat. Everything just tucks away. That's fun. Yeah, there are just cameras everywhere. Also, I think the back kind of looks like an Alpine. That's, it does a that's little what bit. I'm, yeah, that's yeah. The, you're right. Yeah, there's a little bit of A110 in there. Yeah. That looks great. That's cool. All right, we'll wrap up there. <laughs> Once they start hammering, yeah. we're done. Brembo Carbon Ceramics. Yeah, those are going to do the job. Really cool wheel design. And I think these front flaps can open or close too, depending on brake cooling needs, aero needs. So it'll probably remain closed most of the time just for more efficiency, but drive mode probably changes that a little bit. Oh, and I forgot to check if the air suspension is all the way up or all the way down, but I'm sure it's got a little bit of ride height change. And it looks like the Electra has a bit more ground clearance too. All right, let's go drive that. Okay. Cool.